Welcome back to Grapple FK, everyone. We are covering Islam Makachev v. Drew Dobar in the 155 pound division. Um, so this is, I think, so I don't know, somewhere in the prelims. But I mean, this is a very interesting fight. These are both very, very good fighters. Uh, Drew Dobar's a veteran. He's fought at 172. Recently, he's been on a stupid tear. He's been KOing people left, right and centre. Islam Makachev is probably one of the most well-rounded well guys at 155. Been out of action for a while. I think he got COVID or some shit. Something happened to him. Um, he was meant to fight someone, but he got COVID. But, I mean, they're around the same size in terms of reach, leg reach, Islam, Makachev is an advantage. And height, I think, I think Islam's a bit probably two, three inches taller than him. I think Islam's around 5'11", from like some of his weigh-ins that I've seen. He looks quite tall. Um, but yeah, I mean, Islam, very well-rounded, Sambo wrestling, good stand-up as well, um, good kicks. Drew Dober, more, more power in the punch. Um, not as well-rounded, but uh, I think definitely has more one-shot KO power. What yeah. do you think, Andrew? I'm, I'm going to say that Drew Dober is one of the best strikers in the lightweight division. He's very good. Yeah. Just, yeah, I was just saying something because, you know, that division is stacked with good strikers. Yeah. Um, he, he's, he's an excellent technical boxer. Um, throws, you know, nice combinations, you know, three, four, five punches at a time. And a lot of those land. He's very explosive, very powerful. Uh, he pressures you know, fantastically well. He cuts off the cage and he, he, you know, corrals his opponent so they've got nowhere to go. He's excellent yeah. at that. Um, he's got nice slips, nice counters. His counters are really nice. Um, I don't know if you saw that fight with um, Nazareth Hack Perest. Yeah. Um, but that, that wasn't, so strictly speaking, a, a strict counter, but Hack Perest went oh, for the low hand, kick. Right? Yeah. Yeah, went for the low kick. Then just yeah. immediately, instinctively, Drew Dober, I think, with the, with the left uh, with the left hand, knocked him out. And he does yeah. that a lot. That's not a fluke. He does that a lot. And even if, if he's getting hit with a kick, hit, hit with a punch, he, he's firing back immediately. Yeah. Or, or he's slipping and, and countering. Uh, he had a beautiful counter against Benil Dariush because he had a spectacular first round against Dariush. Um, yeah. Wobbled him a couple of times. Of course, he went on to lose in the second round, but that first round against a very high-level mm. fighter like Darush, you know, it was a really yeah. great performance. Uh, <laughs> I, I, just, I just love Drew Dober striking. Um, I, th I think he's excellent. Um, there's just, just to add to that, he's got phenomenal power as well. Yes. There's, yeah. there's nothing not to like about the striking. Yeah. And you could put him up, striker-wise, you could put this guy up against any of the top five, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, as you've alluded to, he's not that well rounded. That's the thing. Yeah. So in that fight against Benil Dariush, I know Benil Dariush is, is an excellent wrestler, but he got him down pretty easily. And once on the ground, Dariush was like a wet blanket. And Drew Dober did not have much, you know, he, he wasn't really defending with anything on the ground, which is a bit worrying against someone like Islam Makachev. Um, so. That's Drew Dober. Yeah. He's a striker, excellent striker. He's not the kind of guy who's going to go for takedowns. He's not the kind of guy who's going to be submitting people on the ground. No, definitely not. What is uh, it, BJJ? He, might, he must be like a blue or purple belt or something. Yeah, I, I don't know what he is, um, yeah. but we haven't seen much of him on, on the ground. So obviously, you've you talked about Islam Makachev, elite level wrestling. Yeah, we, different we league. Saw we, we all saw that battle with Armin Sarukian. Oh, boner. Boner it, of a fight. It, it, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, he, I was, was going to say he outgrappled Davi Hamos, um, but that was mainly a, a striking match. He, he, uh, I think he hurt him in the striking and then outgrappled him. Yeah, I think what happened is Davi Hamos was coming in. Islam Akshev got him with a knee, dropped him. And then it was ground and pound. There's no real uh, grappling. It's basically basically yeah. just Islam throwing bombs, you know, from the top. I think it's very dangerous to 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 try and do that with Ramos as well. Just getting his god or something, get him down and 
because he's such an he's he's such a elite level BJJ practitioner. Um, so he was probably a bit mindful about taking him down. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a lot, a lot yeah. of respect there. Um, yeah, but 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 still, I mean, you know, uh, Magachev was in Hamas's guard, uh, in in his close guard, yeah. and just raining down bombs like. That's great in gi jiu-jitsu or even no gi jiu-jitsu, but in MMA, that's a terrible place to be on, on your back with somebody in your guard. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's a discussion for another time. Um, so Matt M- M- Makachev, elite level wrestling, cardio for days. Yeah, he's um, a fucking freak. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, he's, he's striking. We don't, I haven't seen that much of his striking. Um, Very clean and technical. It doesn't throw much volume, though. Exactly. But it's yeah. it's pretty good. It's pretty good for someone who's a wrestler by background. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he he's he's quick, and as you said, yeah. it, it's clean. It looks nice. It's crisp. Yeah. Um, and, and you know he tends to land. He he was landing quite so in the when he got going against Ramos. He was landing quite a lot. Yeah. Um, my only criticism of Makachev striking is that. Obviously, he's not throwing feints or anything. We don't expect him to do that. He's not setting traps. We don't necessarily expect a wrestler to do that, and that's fine. Um, but but he does throw single shots a lot. You know, he gets a bit predictable. And yeah. there's there a moment in that fight against Ramos where Makachev was just throwing the jab, just kind of over and over again, and Hamos timed it uh, with a counter left hook, uh, which wobbled uh, Makachev. Um, so... To me, the striking is certainly decent, decent enough when you've got that wrestling base. Yeah, um, he has been KO'd before in in the UFC in the first round. What was that? Really early on in his career? Very early. Yeah, it was his first fight. I think one of his first fights, his second fight. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about that because he must have been early, very early twenties at the time or something. Yeah, he was. I mean, Drew Dober's been KO'd as well, not in the UFC, but in, in his career, uh, which is surprising because he has got a fantastic jawline. Um, he does, a but, massive, massive cartoon jaw. Um, what you said about Makachev is reflected in the stats. I mean, his stats are positive, but he lands 2.1 per minute. Uh, Drew Dober lands 4.66. Um, but that's because Makachev chain wrestles a lot. So obviously he's not going to be landing as much. But yeah, um, I think his striking is, it's good enough given his other, you know, he, yeah. he's a well-rounded fighter, but definitely if it was just a striking match, he, he'd get knocked out by Drew, Drew Dober. Yes, but but it's, 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 it's like Kamar Usman. His wrestling is a 10, his striking is a 6. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what it Overall, is. Overall, it, it equates to about a 9, 8 or 9, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and his car- cardio is a 10 as well. Yes, yeah. Um, so, I mean, so, so this is fairly cut and dried. You know, striker versus wrestler. You tend to favour the guy who decides where the fight is. Yeah. I.e. Are you the wrestler, you give him the edge. Um, so w- w- without a shadow of a doubt, Magachev can and probably will get Dober to the ground. And I think he can definitely get him to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be complete domination on the ground. That's the problem, yeah. The issue is um, however long Magachev elects to stand. Every single second, he's in danger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, a guy like Makachev, you know, he, he probably choose to set his takedowns up with, with some strikes. I don't know if he'll chain wrestle literally for the whole twenty-five minutes. There's got to be some instances at some point where he... it'll be fifteen minutes. Oh yeah, sorry, for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Th- th- there'll be some moments where you know he'll elect a strike. I imagine. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And against a guy like Doba, who is so quick, can counter, can go first, can be aggressive, does everything extremely well on the feet, that's dangerous. Yeah, there's a chance that Doba could just knock him clean out, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I give, I, I always, I mean, we always give the edge to wrestlers. Um, and I give Makachev, def, definitely give him the edge in this fight too. But Doba's dangerous. He's a dangerous man. Um, 
In terms of tactics, I think with Khabib, Khabib and Makachev's corner, I think Khabib probably will say, you know, spend maybe about a minute on your feet in the first round and then just start chain wrestling. Just just wear on him, get him tired. Um, and I can see... I can see Makachev, like, really controlling him once he gets him up against the cage or gets him on the ground. Um, I don't really know what Dober can do once he gets him in those positions. Nothing. Nothing. I don't think he's got anything. Yeah. So I think, the, I think the only way Dober can win this fight, I don't think he can win it via decision, is just a knockout. He's got the chance of the knockout. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Islam, I think, has to be very careful. Very careful. Yeah. If, if, if I were him, I wouldn't necessarily even engage in any strikes with him if he can avoid it. Yeah. Um, the problem is, it's it's like you ha you have to, to 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 an extent in order to set the take up the, the to take downs up right sometimes. Um, yeah. yeah. The other thing is, we'll, 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 and we've seen this with great strikers. We saw this with Khabib and Gaethje. We've seen this with Khabib a lot. We've seen it with other people too. Will, will, Dober, will Dober striking be affected? Will he mentally be affected knowing that this guy can take me down whenever he wants? And that typically does happen. That does happen, exactly. Uh, you'd think that would happen against um, Benil Dariush. And Drew Dober just came forward and you know, fuck them up for that for that first round. And the yeah. thing is, if 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 you kind of just lean into the storm uh and, and you're throwing bombs, you put you're pushing the pace and you're getting the, the wrestler on the back foot, it's a lot harder for the wrestler to shoot for the takedowns. Yeah, but there's levels and Makajev's a different level to Dariush. True. Um true. Yeah. But I yeah I th I think I mean, true Dober's very aggressive. And he's definitely got a chance in this of 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 getting a KO or a TKO if Makajev slips up. But should, should we get on to predictions? I think we should get on to predictions because I think we've covered the style and what these guys are capable of. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. You go ahead. Uh, I think. I think this is. 65-35, maybe even 70-30, Makachev's favor. I think he'll win this fight. Um, unanimous decision, probably. But I wouldn't be surprised if he submits Drew Dober. Yeah, I mean, I agree. 70-75% Makachev. It's quite um, high. It, it is pretty high. Um, yeah, yeah it, again, it, it could be unanimous decision. It could be a submission. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Drew Dober has been submitted a few times. Um, in terms of safe and risky, what are you thinking? Safe. And then hedge it with a uh, Drew Dober KO. Yes. And I was looking at the. Um, actually, we'll, we'll 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 come to the strategy in a bit. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the odds. Who do you think the favourite is here? It has, it has to be Islam, right? Yeah. What yeah. odds would you give him? I would... I, I think he wins this 70% of the time, so I'd say probably like minus 200. Minus 225, maybe. Something like somewhere around there. He's minus 350. Fuck. I think that's a little, a little. Rich. Yeah, that's that's quite. Yeah, that's like, an implied probability. I don't agree with Seventy-eight. That. Seven. Yeah. So I'm saying seventy. So I'm saying. So I'm thinking more minus two fifty-ish, two sixty-ish. Um. Yeah. So that's almost eighty percent. Closer to what you said. Um. I think that's a bit tough on Doba. I think Doba's got that. He, he, he could he could cause him problems. Um. But what's the what are the odds on uh, Drew Dober a, a Drew a Drew Dober KO? Because I I think that's the only way you can win. Plus six hundred. Oh, brilliant! Good stuff. Exactly. Good so, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a this is a good bet for us. 
Very good bet. Very good. Yeah. So let's say an individual bet, hypothetically. Um, let's say we put 20 quid on Makachev. You're only getting 25 back. Um, actually, no, this isn't this isn't very good because it was so short for Makachev. So let, let me uh, just run some numbers here. I think you've got to put Makachev in the safe come come with a few other people and then maybe put yeah. like a fiver put a fiver on a Drew Day Drew Day Bacao. Yeah, yeah, you are you're, you're gonna have to do that, yeah. Yeah. So let's say you put five quid on a Drew Dobo KO slash TKO, you're yeah. getting thirty five back. That's yeah, that's crazy. So if if it does happen, then then we recoup the cost of um the safe come come, the safe parlay, and probably some more yep. on top of that. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I, that's a very good bet, I think. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think this is very. This this is good for us. It's yeah. pretty good for us. Um, I wasn't expecting the odds for a Drew Dober KO to be, you know, that that at that level. I, I think the like. I think the odds are reflective of. The hype surrounding Islam Makachev and the association yeah, there's with a lot of... Khabib. Yeah, I think there's a perception that he's just a little bit better than he is. Um, I I think he I think he is the real deal. Um, I think if he, I think he will win this fight. He needs to get a top ten opponent after this. Um, there's a lot of there's there's a lot of talk about him and a lot of talk of, of fighters avoiding him. I I, I can see why he's. He's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Like, he's pretty good everywhere. Be tough to deal with. Um, the only question is, is he ready for the limelight? Is he ready for for the bright lights? Because he has he's pretty much fought medium level fighters, right? Yeah, I mean the best fighters he's fought are Davy Ramos and Arm Sarukian, who exactly. Like who aren't ranked 10 12 fights each yeah yeah and aren't ranked so yeah yeah but the skill sets there the, the wrestling does it that's it the wrestling yeah. wins yeah that's, that's it that's it yeah the skill set is there to to and and he's young he's 29 i think he's on the right side of 30 isn't he only 27 or i think he's 20 29 or 28 he's young he's very young He's born in. He's actually born on my birthday. Uh, oh, in nineteen ninety one. Twenty nine. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, twenty nine. Yeah, so he's got three, four years easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's it then, I guess. So Islam and the safe come come, and then uh, hedge it with the. Oh, sorry, Islam and the parlay, and then hedge it with the um, uh, Drew over KO slash TKO. Easy, easy. This one is easy. Um, anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I like. I, I'm curious to see this fight. Um, yeah, I, a part of me wants to see Drew Dober knock him out because I yeah, want to see make some money. Yeah, I want to see Drew Dober rest. You know, in, in terms of the rankings, because I think there's a lot of potential there. I think he can beat a lot of very good fighters. He can. The problem is his, his ground game. Yeah. He's always going to run into someone who's got good ground game, and then he's fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. But he could, he could, yeah, he could knock out every, everyone in the division. Yeah, he's he's got that kind of power, that kind of boxing. But yeah, well, there you go, guys. Uh, I've got Islam Makachev. I'm leaning towards a unanimous decision, but I wouldn't be sub- I wouldn't be surprised if he submits Drew Dober uh, and Andrew. Exactly the same. Yeah, and uh, in terms of betting, putting Islam in the safe parlay and hedging it with a Drew Dober KO at plus six hundred. Yep. So um, that's it. Anything you want to add, Andrew? No, nope, I'm good. No, we'll be uh, covering more fights very very soon. Uh, stay tuned. Please subscribe, like, leave any comments. We'll get back to you. Uh, Once again, thank you for watching and take care. Bye. Bye.